I just said, oh, he's calling me out. Well, I'll just do it. You know, certainly wasn't going to, to back down. And But I never felt malice towards him or any dislike to him. You know, I'm very good friends with John Mellencamp, and he told me back in the mid-90s or something that Axel Rose had once said to him he wanted me dead or to kill me or something like that. Okay. I just laughed. You know, I mean, I, I, I honestly hope he never felt that malicious towards me. So it didn't blow me away as a great song. I wasn't particularly proud to be in the song, and I wasn't ashamed to be in the song. I immediately just saw it as a... It immediately made me laugh, and I immediately saw it as a fantastic publicity vehicle. So I'm sure we sold a lot more of their records, and they probably sold a lot more of our magazines. I've never had any malice, and I think people might have thought I did, but I didn't. There was actually zero malice, and I was very, very happy the fight never happened because I was so much bigger and <laughs> stronger than him, you know, um, that it wouldn't have ended well. Wouldn't have been, you know, <laughs> anything I could be proud of or anything he, either one of us should be doing. So he did not know, I'm sure, when he wrote the song, that I was a very accomplished full contact. Clearly fighter. not. And and really, quite most importantly, I wasn't going to be pushed around. You know, your diss track, your insult, is such a compliment to your dad, too, at the same time. Oh, yeah, no, I always said, yeah, he got way more women than I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm proud of it. You, you yeah. found her a penthouse. I mean, how can you not? I mean, come on. Yeah, no, no, he, um, he pretty much cornered the market.